I don't know, Robin. The weather looks fine to me. I don't understand. It was thunder and lightning just a few minutes ago. The wind was howling. Uh, did it look anything like that? There! You see? I told you! Now there must be a thunderbird up there causing it. Come on, let's fly! We'll get a better view from above. Robin, are you okay? Oh, I don't know. I'm a little dizzy and my brain feels numb. Is that possible? I think I was struck by lightning. She's delirious. We should take her to the hospital wing. I'm fine, Kev. Really? I just need to lie down for a... Merlin's beard! What were you doing flying in that storm? That's a good way of getting yourself struck by lightning. Or worse. Oh. Robin don't look too good. Better take you to see the matron. That's what I said! Come on, let's go! How are you feeling, Robin? Mm. A bit wonky, but better. I wouldn't say no to some more of that invigoration draft. So, did anyone see the Thunderbird? Weren't no Thunderbird, Robin. In a few six years, we're practicing atmospheric charms over the Quidditch pitch. A little carried away is all. So, that's it? The pitch is safe again? Excellent! Where's my broom? Hold on there, Robin. Let's get your rest before heading back to the skies. Quidditch can wait. Oh, for which broomsticks? I hate waiting. Kevin? He's been absent in all of his classes today. No, but I wouldn't worry, Robin. I'm sure he's just got a cold. That was my first thought, too, so I asked his dorm mates about him. Apparently, he never came to bed last night. Madame Pomfrey hasn't seen him either. That is troubling, isn't it? Kevin would never willingly miss class. Something must have happened. You've lost another friend. Can't seem to hold on to them, can you? Not now, Cassandra. This is serious. No one's seen Kevin for almost a day. I know one person who has. 
Really? Who? Tell me! Why should I? After all, you're always nothing but rude to me. Because if you tell us, I'll clean your cauldron for a month. Deal, but it better be clean enough to eat out of. Moaning Myrtle was whining earlier about a boy with glasses in her bathroom who kept ignoring her in favor of reading some book. Sounds an awful lot like you're missing four eyes, doesn't it? That must be him. But why is Kevin hiding out in a girl's lavatory? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. show up to any of your classes and no one's seen you all day so I got worried something might have happened to you what are you doing in here are you all right Kevin you look exhausted did you get any sleep last night <coughs> Kevin usually has his nose in a book but I've never seen him this absorbed by one yeah it's almost as if it has him in a trance. A trance? Uh, Robin, I think that's it. I think Kevin might be cursed. My mum did tell me about a witch from Bath who had a book that once opened you could never stop reading. I bet my wand Kevin's book has been similarly bewitched. In which case... I've heard of books that are hard to put down, but this is ridiculous! What do we do now? If yanking the book out of his hands won't work, we'll just have to destroy it with magic. The expulsion spell ought to do the trick. Looks like the book's not gonna give Kevin up without a fight! Cracking open my new book, and then nothing. Your book was cursed, Kevin. You couldn't stop reading it. Fortunately, we managed to destroy it and break its hold on you. That's the last time I buy books from Nocturne Alley. Thank you both for saving me. I'm just happy you're all right. I don't know what I would have done if you'd been. I, I mean, come on, Kevin. Let's get you to Madame Pomfrey.
there. I think that's the last one. I feel like I could write a book about the many interesting gargoyles of Hogwarts. A long one. They really are everywhere. You'd think eventually someone would update the decor. Ugh, detention is so unfair. Especially when you're missing the biggest Quidditch match of the year. My dad and I would play catch the quaffle and seek the snitch for hours when I was little. My mom was always out playing with other people. Which is why I'm so bad at Quidditch. And why I mostly ended up playing with my dad. My dad taught me how to paint. Before he left on one of his artistic adventures, he always made a butterfly somewhere in the house. The butterfly would fly from painting to painting, and I would try to catch it in a work of my own. I could paint gardens and forests and fields of daisies to give the butterfly a place to land. And when it would finally perch on my painting, I knew I had created something special. Something my father would have liked. I never caught his last butterfly. And now I don't even know where my father is. Or if he's even alive. I'm sure he's out there somewhere. I, I hope so. He would have loved to hear about this treasure hunt. Finding mysterious portraits and putting together clues. I just hope I'm as good at it as he was. Hmm. Happy detention. How's it going? I'm not sure there's anything else to polish in all of Hogwarts. This is madness. Gorski was there. Why doesn't McGonagall believe us? Because we don't have proof. Why don't we get some? How? It's not like you can just march into Gorski's office and accuse him of sending a basilisk fang at the inn. Which is extraordinarily illegal, by the way. No, definitely not. Don't even think about it. What if there's something even bigger going on here? What if Gorski's... A dark wizard. That's what we need to find out. Robin, you watch the hall. Hmm. And Kevin, you stand outside mm -hmm. Gorski's door in case something strange happens. And where exactly will you be? We're going into Gorski's office to get to the bottom of this. Come in. How are my favorite artifact hunters? Professor, we need to ask you something. I'm afraid I can't give you an extension. The deadline is the last day. But I have faith in you. You may be the only group left yet to find something, but as you know, just because something's hard to find doesn't mean it isn't there. That's strange. That's exactly what Daniel said to Cassandra. Was that you making a deal at the Hogshead Inn? Why, no, of course not. My associates are scholars and students of history, not the types of wizards who deal in the dark. But we saw you. I'm afraid you must be mistaken, and that I must ask you to leave. I need you to get out! Were you in possession of a basilisk fang? No. No. I would have no use for such a foul thing. Such a thing would serve no purpose. But it could destroy any lock or open any box, and then any treasure could be yours. Did you attack us? Oh, no, child. I would never attack a student. A student who has done nothing wrong? A student who is only in the Chamber of Secrets searching for clues? I am not the cloaked wizard you seek. How did you know we were in the Chamber of Secrets? And how do you know about the cloaked wizard? Because he's been spying on us. No! He made me! Students will search for us, he said. They will solve the secret of the map. We just need to follow from Hagrid's to the hall, to the dungeon, to the library, to the Chamber of Secrets, to the secret tunnel, to Hogsmeade. 
every place we've been. It's true. You were watching us. I'm always watching. In Carthus. Thunderstorm. The totem locomotive. Swelling slow. Essence of pity. Incarcerate. What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Cornish pixies. Forpa. Some locomotive. Cornish pixies. Swelling slow. Spiders. Him get away. I never trusted that Lima. Since when can Lemurs use a wand? Since now, apparently. Look out! Bokorico's coming! Give me a name! I. I can't! It's the Imperious Curse, isn't it? This is clearly the work of a powerful wizard. Students, back to your dormitories at once. The Ministry and the school have this under control. But we know who did this. It's Gorski's assistant, Bly. And the Ministry will deal with it. Apparently, they've been on the case for months, following Gorski's every move. Although they only just now chose to inform me. Agents are on their way to secure the castle. But what if he escapes? If there's a powerful wizard on the loose, it's not safe out in the halls. Back to your dormitories, now! You're so close, but so is he. Don't let him find it first!
I've never seen McGonagall that stern before, which is saying something. Shouldn't we go back to the common room? You heard what Gorski said. We're close. Everything we've done has led us to this wall of paintings. There must be something we're missing. We've checked every single painting. Let's face it, there's no map. It doesn't make sense. Why would all these wizards go through all this trouble for something that isn't there? Even down to moving through random paintings. Hello, you sweet little urchins. We're all back on the wall at last. I must say, things are quite a bit brighter these days. Oh, you two don't go turning to mush on us now. Although, it is good to be back in the old wall with my best chums. Everyone at the pub was all, mind your own business all the time. Uh, we never got to talk about our feelings. Are you crying? <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Recruitment's going well, I see. Look at your new members. You must have a lovely pamphlet. Or some compelling nefarious ends. What is he talking about? He thinks we're in a secret society. Don't ask. Go on, what is it you're after? We're still looking for the map. Are you sure it's in this hall? You want to purge the world of maps? Now that you mention it, maps are rather smug, aren't they? Always pointing you somewhere, presuming that's where you want to be. What if I were to go somewhere else? Or take the scenic route? Is the map here? Well, that's what he said. That's what who said? The bloke who took me to the pub. He told me he had to move me because of the map in the hall. Said I was out of line. Whatever that means. You didn't get his name. Didn't give it. Odd, really. I thought artists were always putting their names on things. He was an artist? He looked to be. Had paint on his robes, a bit like you. Wait, you said out of line? Hmm, that might be it. We checked every single painting. But what if the secret of the map wasn't in a single painting? What if it was in all the paintings? I don't see anything. You don't see anything now. But that doesn't mean you will always see nothing. Right. I have no idea what you're talking about. Many of the paintings were moved, and the people in the paintings moved too. If we restored everyone to their original positions and places, maybe we would see a different picture. It's worth a try. Ah. It's the best plan we've got. We trust you, Lottie. Excuse me, paintings. Ahem. <coughs> We're trying to find a magical artifact before an evil wizard gets to it. So, we're going to need your help. I need everyone to return to your original poses.
see it now? Huh. The portraits are the map. The portraits we recovered weren't moved because they knew about the map. They were moved because they weren't in line with the map. Oh, such pretty flowers. Reminds me of the ones my mom used to be in the gallery with. What do you think it means? Butterfly, we have to follow it. How? It's in the painting. 